What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for Sana Libra for September of 2022. This can resonate if you have leaps in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, no main haven, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for Sana Libra. I encourage everybody to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node signs for additional message or messages. Uh, <clears throat> just saying, just saying. Okay? Love you guys. And as always, please only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Uh, it's a free general collective reading. Please do not force anything that does not fit. It's just not cool. Okay? So only take the message or messages that resonate. If you'd like to book a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. Um, <clears throat> Just let everybody know, okay? If I feel your energy is off, I will not do the reading. I just want a disclaimer of that as well, okay? Spirit messages you have for sign a Libra. Um, I did receive two channel messages in as I was meditating on your energy, Libra. And um, the first one I heard was um, someone that works for the uh, United States government is about to get fired soon. Um, that was the first one. And the second one, I heard, um, uh, uh, oh shoot, I forgot the second one. Hold on. Someone that works for the United States government is about to get fired soon. Um, that was the first one. And um, crap, what was the second one? Hold on a second. I have a brain fart. I forgot it. I forgot it. But if it comes back, I'll let you know. Um, yeah, someone that works for the United States government is about to get fired soon. Um, and there is another one, but if I remember it, I'll let you know. Crap. All right, let me shuffle out. Hope I'm going to try to think and see if I remember it. I still can't remember it. It's driving me crazy. I'm still trying. We'll see, okay? Spirit messages you have a sign, Libra. Oh, okay. Well, this isn't the one. This isn't it. It's a different one, but... I'll deliver this one. I heard a lawyer is about to get disbarred through many series of shame events. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Um, that was that, That's the one I just channeled in. I cannot remember that other one. Um, hopefully, if Spirit wants to bring it back, Spirit will bring it back. But I can't remember the other one. Um, so, for many series of shame events, a lawyer is about to get disbarred soon. So, I feel for a lot of you guys, it's a lawyer you know or, um, or you have had dealings or dealings with or um or something of that nature um whoever this is for libra um i feel it's a lawyer you know or it's somebody a lawyer in your past or a lawyer in your family or some what have you what have you but some kind of lawyer um i think you're connected with or you used to be connected with <clears throat> there are many series of chain events and about to be discarded soon um so you plug it in how it resonates and then someone that works for the United States government is about to get fired soon. And, I mean, if you're working for the government and you get fired, there's a damn good reason you're getting fired. Um, because usually people that work for the government, it's hard to get them out. It's really, really, really hard to get them out. And that's just the damn truth. So if, they're getting, if they work for the United States government and they're getting fired, there's a huge reason they're getting fired. A huge ass reason. Many reasons. Abuse and exploitation. A huge ass reason, many reasons, abuse and exploitation is what I just heard. So many reasons, abuse and exploitation. So they have abused and exploited person, people, place, or situation. Um, whoever this person is. Uh, for some, it might be two or two plus people. But it's definitely somebody that works for the United States government and they're going to be terminated through many series of shame events and some kind of lawyer through many series of shame events. Is going to be disbarred, and anybody doesn't know, I'm not a lawyer, I'm a nurse, but 
um, the lawyers, they like, we have nurses associate. We have, we have to, uh, nurses are under uh, agency, governing, governing agency, which is the Board of Nursing. Lawyers are under a gover governing agency too, the Bar Association for whatever state or states they are in or apply for or what have you, what have you. So if they're getting disbarred, that means the Lawyers Association or whatever state or states this is going on in um, and whatever country or countries this is going on in, there's a reason that the governing agency of the lawyers is about to disbar them is what I'm trying to say. So they've done something pretty terrible, whoever this person is. I feel you guys know this person or you used to know this person. Maybe you put a report in to the state's bar association about them. I mean, I'm not sure. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. That's pretty, woo. That's not the one I was trying to remember, but I'm just saying. Okay, so number nine could be a very significant number in one's life. Number nine, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number nine, trust, gazelle, hawk. For some, you could be dealing with another air sign or an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or um, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, aim, and Jupiter charts. Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. Milk, uh, handshake. Almost said milkshake. I don't know why. Maybe one of you guys likes milkshakes. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. Pale, time to get out of a situation. A polygamous relationship is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. Some, you're in a polygamous relationship. A polygamous relationship is about to become very significant in a leaper's life. For some, you're in a polygamous relationship. So you plug it in how it resonates. Well, po polygamy is different than monogamy. For anybody who doesn't know, monogamy is two people in a relationship, like a romantic relationship. Polygamy is many people in the relationship that everybody agrees to be in it. And there's standards and there's boundaries and there's rules, just like a monogamous one, except it's many people. Um, one of you guys is in a polygamous relationship, whether you're married or you're not married, and one um, a polygamous relationship is about to become significant in your life, so I think you know somebody in a polygamous, polygamous relationship, or you're about to be asked to be in a polygamous relationship, or something of that nature. I would never do polygamy ever a day in my life. Never, never, never. Not for me. Now, everybody's different, and everybody has different preferences and things of that nature, but I am not built to be a polygamous kind of girl. I just never have been, even when I dated all those years as a single girl. Never, never, never. Always had rules for my dating, and polygamy would not be included, and that's just the truth. But everybody's different. I don't judge. I don't judge. So, so for one, you are in a polygamous relationship. And for one, a polygamous relationship is about to become significant in your life. So I think maybe somebody connected to you is about to be in a polygamous relationship, or they are, or something of that nature. You plug it in how it resonates. Heavy polygamy in here, though. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. <clears throat> Trust. Someone wants you to trust them, but you know better. You're highly intuitive. Someone wants you to trust them, but you know better. You're highly intuitive, so you plug it in how it resonates. So if that resonates for you, Libra, somebody wants you to trust them, but I heard you know better. You're highly intuitive, so you're highly intuitive. And whoever this is, I think it's somebody in your current life or somebody of your past. But it... um. But I think you're getting signs from the universe that they want you to trust them, or you're about to. Um, it could be through communication. It could be through um, nonverbal, uh, what have you, what have you. But they want you to trust them. Um, there's reasons they do. But I heard you don't trust them, and you're highly intuitive, and it's, it sounds like you're right not to trust them. So they're a huge-ass snake. They, I feel they put 10 of swords, 50 swords, 150 swords in your tr uh, back in the past, and you know not to trust them. Gemini and Piscean and Scorpionic energy. 
Gemini and Piscean and Scorpion energy. So if this resonates for you, I feel they have, uh, they can either be one sign with Gemini, Pisces, or Scorpio, or three separate energies. But I heard Gemini, Pisces, and Scorpio. They could have Gemini, Pisces, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts. But they want you to trust them, but I heard you don't. So there's a reason you don't trust them, and there's a reason you know not to trust them, if that resonates. I heard Gemini, Pisces, and Scorpio. It could be man or a woman, Gemini, Pisces, or Scorpio. They could have any of those in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Haven, Jupiter charts. Whoa. For some, I feel they could be stubborn and aggressive, and you know they're stubborn and aggressive. And for some, you're highly intuitive. I heard you know not to trust them. You know it's time to get out of the situation with them. That's what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. Oof. Time is about to tell in a huge way on a particular situation. For one, you're highly intuitive and you knew this. Time is about to tell in a, a huge way on a particular situation. For one, you're highly intuitive and you knew this. So if this resonates for you, time is about to tell on a particular situation. You're highly intuitive and you knew um, you knew this. So you knew the time that time was going to tell on a particular situation. So tell on a person, people, place, well, I heard a situation. Time, time tell on a particular situation. It could be regarding this Gemini, Pisces, or Scorpio, or any other situation, a person, people, place, or situation. For some, it could be dealing with the earth sign or another air sign. Um, some kind of situation, whatever it is, time is about to tell. Um, in a huge way, in a huge way. Uh, but you're highly intuitive, whoever you are. I'm picking up a lot of highly intuitive Libras. You knew it was going to tell. You knew the time was basically going to the time would tell with this situation and you knew the truth was going to come out you knew it and it sounds like it is or it's about to how that resonates okay gazelle <clears throat> a very significant meeting between a uh, between a earth's a very high vibrational earth sign masculine and a leo femme high vibrational leo femme is about to become very significant some in your life for some in a positive way some in a negative way a very significant meeting it sounds like upcoming it hasn't happened yet between a high vibrational earth sign masculine taurus capricorn virgo masculine heavy taurus heavy taurus and um, a high vibrational Leo Femme is about to become very significant in your life. For some of you guys, in a negative way, some in a positive way. So a meeting with a stranger can be important. In this aspect, it's not you. It is um, this high vibrational Earth sign masculine, Taurus Capricorn Virgo, with heavy Taurus and a Leo Femme. They're going to be meeting. I think they don't know each other because um, this is a meeting with a stranger could be important. Or they haven't met. Uh, it hasn't happened yet. So I don't think they know each other. Or one of them doesn't know the other. How that resonates, okay? Um, some of you guys, this is going to be positive. Some of this is going to be negative for you. You have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do, okay? I think this is your high vibrational earth sign masculine that's about to um, and um, about to meet with this Leo Femme. Now, how they meet, I don't know. I didn't hear any of that. Okay, but I feel either both of them don't know each other or one doesn't know the other. Gazelle. A Virgo wife is about to deliver a Libra masculine divorce papers. Intuitively, you knew this was coming. Oh my God, whoa. A Virgo wife is about to deliver a Libra masculine divorce papers. I heard um, intuitively you knew this was coming. So if this resonates with you, you're legally married um, Libra masculine. You could have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Orpha, and Menhaven, and Jupiter charts. But it's a Virgo wife. They could have Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Orpha, and Menhaven, and Jupiter charts. I heard she's about to deliver you divorce papers. So I don't know if this is contested or non-contested or what have you, what have you. But she's about to deliver you divorce papers, um, Libra masculine, married, legally married, legal um, Libra masculine. Um, but you're highly intuitive. You knew it was coming. So I think y'all have had problems with marriage for a hot minute. And I'm just being for real. Um, and I'm serious. So that could be the time to uh, get out of a situation. It's a divorce. You knew it was coming. Maybe she might be stubborn and aggressive or she's just very 
stubborn and hell-bent on getting this divorce done, however that resonates. Obviously, she wants you to sign, but she's uh, taking the time to go to the lawyer or to draw these up or what have you, what have you. Um, I think the spiritual, I think you need to trust the situation. I, I mean, if she's going and going through these greater lengths to get the divorce, um, draw up the papers or what have you, what have you, she really wants a divorce. I mean, she's not waiting on this. She really wants to get out. So, you know, I know some people try to force people to stay in marriages. They refuse to sign and blah, 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 blah. I don't believe in that crap. I don't believe in it. I believe in hashtag living free. If you're not happy in the marriage, Lord have mercy, let the person out. That's just the truth. Uh, but, you know, I'm only one person. This is your Virgo, uh, legally married Virgo uh, femme wife, Libra masculine, if this resonates for you. Um, I think she's coming up as a gazelle because uh, she's taking action here. She's uh, gazelles are speedy. I think she's not. She has not waited on this. She's about to deliver you with these papers. She really wants out. Oof. For some of these Virgo feminines, they have someone on the side. For some, they just want out. For some of these Virgo feminines, they have someone on the side, and for some, they just want out. So for some of them, they already have another person and that's why they want out. And for some, they just want out. So I'm sure there's probably some kind of money, property, or assets there that is going to be able to hold them over so they can get out. Hawk. A very significant investigation is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. For one, you're the investigator. For one, you're about to be investigated. Black Magic COVID investigation and a lawsuit with OnlyFans is about to become significant for one. And YouTube for one. Oh my God, whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of significant lawsuit with YouTube and OnlyFans. So this could be you about to get in a lawsuit with YouTube or OnlyFans. Or you could work for YouTube and OnlyFans about that. And maybe you work in the legal team for YouTube or OnlyFans. And you help place the lawsuit on person, people, place, or situation. Um, or you're the one about to get sued from YouTube or OnlyFans. I'm not sure. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. But some kind of significant lawsuit. Some... A Libra is about to get sued by YouTube or OnlyFans, at least one in the universe. Um, but I feel for other you guys, maybe you work for the legal team for YouTube or OnlyFans is what I feel. Um, or you work for YouTube or OnlyFans and you're collaborating with the legal team to help place this lawsuit on another Libra. So a Libra is about to get sued by YouTube and OnlyFans, and I'm just being for real. Holy crap and moly, man. Woo! Catfishing! Catfishing. I heard catfishing. So somebody, uh, Libra has catfished, or they have Libra in their chart, and they have catfished person, people, place, or situation. That could be the time to get out of the situation. They have catfished. Um, that's fraud, by the way. That's fraud. Can't be doing that shit. Somebody did, though. They catfished another individual, frauded another individual, and um, this sounds like YouTube and OnlyFans legal sector is about to be on their ass with the, with the lawsuit. Yo, God. And there's going to be some kind of black magic COVID investigation too. So I, uh, I heard for one year the investigator. So um, one year about to be investigating this. For one year about to be investigated. So you have to place yourself in whatever situation you resonate and whatever side of karma you are on this. Um, are you the investigator about to investigate the black magic COVID investigation, or um, are you the one about to be investigated? Um, I feel there might be a Libra about to be investigated with the black magic COVID investigation and a Libra about to investigate the black magic. COVID investigation. You place yourself in wherever you fit, um, how that resonates, okay? Woo. And I've been pulling in heavy COVID energy in here in this round of reading readings. Heavy COVID. Heavy COVID energy. Hawk.
An airplane is about to become very significant in a, a Libra's life. And a black box. An airplane and a black box is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. I, I strongly feel, well, I heard one, you are an investigator. I feel heavy investigator energy in here. I feel a lot of you guys are investigators, and I'm just being for real. Um, there's a reason a black box is about to become significant in one of you guys' life. You only, to my knowledge, of course, I've never worked in the airline sector or been an investigator or anything like that, other than a psychic investigator like this, but I've never been hired to be an investigator out in the greedy world. But to my knowledge and understanding, you would only be, coming across a black box or dibbling and dabbling with the black box unless she wasn't an investigator in some shape, form, or fashion. And that's just the truth. Anybody doesn't know what a black box is on airplane, you can Google it. It's um, They have them on there in case of airplane crashes or something terrible like terrorists or something crazy happens on an airplane. Um, so they can figure out what happened on the airplane. Um, if something like a crash occurs or a terrorist or something of that nature occurs. So for one of you guys, an airplane and a black box is about to become significant. I strongly feel you're an investigator and there might be a plane crash. And I'm just being serious. And you're about to investigate the black box and the airplane crash. And for one, maybe you're about to travel on airplane. Like traveling. Which is awesome. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Woo-wee. Can y'all give me just a second? I need to turn the um, air up. I am running up. I just made me some Angus patties, and now I got the house all hot. Can you give me a second? I apologize. Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay. Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. Heavy, acquired energy. They're about to make it very known. Trust this. And scorpionic energy. Heavy Aquarian and Scorpionic energy. They're about to make it known. So some kind of um, Scorpionic and Aquarian energy as far as being stubborn and aggressive for you, Libra, is what I feel. Um, they could have um, and another Libra and another Libra. So Scorpionic, Aquarian, and Libra energy. Um, I heard another Libra. So um, Aquarius, Libra, and Scorpion, Scorpionic energy, they could have Aquarius, Libra, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Them, and Hey, with Jupiter charts. I feel it to be a masculine or feminine Aquarius, Scorpio, or another Libra. But I think they're about to start acting very stubborn and aggressive towards you, or they already have. However, that resonates and applies. Um, somebody needs to be careful. Um, now, however, that resonates, okay? A significant group chat is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. A significant group chat is about to become very significant in Libra's life. So some kind of group chat energy, if that resonates for you. Um, I feel you're going to be in this group chat or be invited to the group chat or participate in the group chat or what have you, what have you. Some kind of group chat energy. And someone that is not dead. They are very heavily in the public eye. And this is being widely publicly talked about this. Know this. Their family was trying to kill them in the past. Someone that is not dead. Um, I heard they're very much alive and very heavily in the public eye. Um, I heard many people are talking about the fact that their family basically tried to kill them in the past. Um but um, they are not dead. They are very much alive. And basically, many people in, it sounds like in the communities and public and 
all around are basically very heavily talking about this. So it could be you they tried to kill, Libra, or somebody, or maybe you know this person they tried to kill, or maybe you're the one talking about this person that the family tried to kill. It sounds like their family tried to kill them, um, probably for insurance money or financial gain or what have you, what have you. I mean, hell, I don't know. I don't try to kill people, and I, I'm estranged from my family and have been for years. But how that resonates, um, it sounds like people in the public eye are very heavily talking about this person that their family basically tried to kill them in the past. For one, it's about to benefit you in a huge way. For one, it's about to not. It's about to embarrass the hell out of you. For one, you're a member of this family. Oh, Lord. For one, this is about to benefit you. So, it's one, it's about to benefit you that this um, community or it could be social media, community or social media or what have you, what have you. Some kind of public eye energy. I think people might be discussing it on social media. Social media and public. And it's about to go very quickly and very public. Social media and public eye. Social media and public eye. So, I heard social media and public eye and it's about to go very quickly and very public. Um... One, one is not going to benefit you because I heard you are a member of this toxic family that basically tried to kill uh, this family member. Uh, maybe you helped conspire to kill the family member. By the way, that's criminal and illegal. And I hope somebody comes, if you are a member of this family and you tried to plot a setup plan or a, um, or a death threat plan or what have you, what have you, towards your family member in the past, I hope you get arrested because you can't go around threatening people. You can't go around plotting on people's lives. You can't go around just hiring hit men and hit women. That's criminal. And that 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 is like premeditation. And that's like criminal activity. If anybody needs to hear that. But I heard for one, it's going to benefit you in a huge way. You might be the investigator that's a benefit or somebody else this benefits. Maybe you're somebody in the public eye this benefits. But for one, I heard you're a member of this public uh, of this family and it's about to embarrass the hell out of you. Well, you should have never been a part of a plan to try to kill your family member. If anybody needs to hear that, that's not mentally correct. And I hope you get arrested and some kind of charges are filed against you for premeditation and um, conspiring to kill a family member. That's attempted murder. If anybody needs to hear that, someone's getting a huge wake up call. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. A meeting with a stranger could be important. A Libra nurse, an... A, very significant patient is about to become very significant in your life. Soon. You're about to show lots of compassion towards this patient. Lots of compassion. RN. Wow, that's beautiful. So for one, you're a Libra RN. So you, might, you could be a masculine or feminine Libra RN, Libra registered nurse. I'm a registered nurse, and I have Libra in my chart, just saying. Uh, but you're a Libra registered nurse, and you could have Libra in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midhammer, Jupiter charts. It sounds like you haven't met this patient yet, but you're about to. Um, and I heard you're going to have lots of empathy and sympathy and caring towards this patient. So a meeting with a stranger could be important in this aspect. It's the patient you're about to come across. You have not met this patient yet. And you're a registered nurse, and you can work anywhere. I mean, wherever you work. But, um, but you haven't met the patient yet, but... For some reason, you're about to have a lot of empathy, sympathy, and caring towards this patient. And I'm glad. that's good to see because, trust me, I've worked many different places for many years. And some nurses are very empathetic, sympathetic, and caring. But most get overwhelmed by the patient load or by their work period that they they have good intentions going into nursing school. But once they get out in the workforce, they lose their empathy and sympathy and caring because they're being so competitive with other coworkers and their workplace dynamic or competitive, you get up the wrong. So this is nice to see that you actually are going to show empathy, sympathy, and caring towards your patient, whoever you are, RN, Libra. That's beautiful.
A Libra is about to meet a new person in a park setting soon. They're about to positively change your life in a positive way. One, you're going to make a very good friend with this person. For one, it's going to be a business opportunity. Use it. Okay, so okay, so that's two situations. Let me shut the window. I apologize. I've got my neighbor on the right-hand side a couple streets down mowing his yard. So let me uh, shut the window. I apologize. Okay, so sorry. Okay, so there's two situ situations in here. The first situation is um, they're both park-like settings. You can be a masculine or femme Libra. They're both park-like settings. And for one, it's people you've never met before. Um, for one of you guys, it's going to be a new person. I heard um, they're going to positively change your life. Friend. So like a friend. You're going to make a friend out of them. I hear that a channeling in the song, You've Got a Friend in Me. The Toy Story, one of the Toy Story songs. You got a friend in me. Um, that's situation one. Situation two, uh, both par both park like settings. But situation two, it's going to be a business. First one is a friend. You're going to make a friend out of them. The second one, it's going to be a business opportunity. And I heard music. So you have not met either. The, both of these situations, you haven't met this person yet. And both in a park like setting, you plug it in how it resonates. So it's beautiful. Time to get out of a situation. A Libra is in a third party situation with a meth head. For one, you're in a monogamous relationship with the meth head. You're about to get out of it. They're destroying their life and yours. Oh my God. Yeah. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Dear God, you plug it in how it resonates. You're about to trust the situation, your intuition. Get the hell out of there. Yeah. Oh my God. No meth heads for me. And that's just damn truth. Whoa. I've heard meth heads. So they are a meth addict. For some, it's a homosexual relationship. Some, it's a heterosexual relationship. So for some of you guys, it's a homosexual meth head relationship. Some, it's a heterosexual meth head relationship. For some, it's you're the third party. For one, you're in a monogamous. So two, two of you guys. For some, it's three or three plus in this dynamic. For some, it's two. But whether it's three or three plus or two, it is a meth head. For some of you guys, it's heterosexual, man to woman. Some is homosexual, man to man or woman to woman. I'd be getting out of it too. Meth head energy. Uh, yeah. I heard they're destroying their life and your life. Yeah. That's, that, that, they've got to, they need, they need recovery is what they need. Recovery. And I'm not here to tell anybody what to do, but I'm telling you, this person, if they're destroying your life and their life, they need recovery. If anybody needs to hear that. And I'm serious. If people want to ride, I've been single so damn long. I hadn't dated nobody. Because I don't want to get involved with meth heads or us. And that's just the truth. Holy shit. A blown up meth lab is about to be all over the news soon. Know this. All over the news. And someone's about to get arrested for heroin, possession, and selling. A blown up meth lab is about to be all over the news, all over the news. And someone's about to get arrested for heroin possession and heroin uh, selling. So distribution of heroin and heroin possession. So keep having heroin on one's person. Um, heroin energy, meth addict energy, heavy drugs, illicit drugs, energy. Time to get out of the situation. Away from the heroin addicts and um, distributors and the meth heads. Just saying, just saying. Holy shit. Trusting your intuition to get away. But of course, you only take the messages that resonate and you are the own leader of your own life. Okay? Yikes. All right. I love you guys so much. Let me see if I hear anything else.
Cland, Adam, Polly, Clint, Adam, Polly, Casey, Scott, Clint, Adam, Polly, Casey, and Scott. Clint, Adam, Polly, Casey, and Scott is what I heard. Clint, C L I N T, Polly, Adam, Casey, and Scott. Um, and Anderson and Anderson. So you plug it in how it resonates. That could be your name, somebody you're connected to's name, first, middle, or last name, a nickname, however in the world that resonates. Um, initial D, initial M, initial K. Initial D, initial M, initial K. So initial D is in dog, M is in money, and K is in kite. D, M, and K. You plug it in, how it resonates. All right, I love you guys. I hope this helped, and namaste.